Hey Pip Junkies, welcome back and thank you guys for joining me again on how to go ahead and fund your Trader's Way account. So, uh, last thing we just did was create a Trader's Way account. We went ahead and we, you know, we went over the account information, grabbed our information to send into MetaTrader and, into our, and navigated through our back office. So now the next step that we want to take is now that we're in the back office, we want to go ahead and go on to this website and it's called velo.expert, velo.expert. So this website is pretty much um, where you buy and you pay uh, for VLOAD vouchers. So what these VLOAD vouchers are is essentially like, you know, they're like the an intermediary that you pay to then give you credit to put into your Trader's Way account. And with that credit, you could trade real money. So um, this was done more for security purposes, but it's our way of kind of, you know, being able to fund our account, the easiest and most simple way. We can use a debit card, things like that. Um, now, you are going to need some things to be able to verify over here as well. And first, it's going to start you off on tier one. Uh, your limit is up to 250 euros or $250. So it's really just verifying your account, email address, um, and then you can do up to two successful purchases, so up to 250 bucks. But after those two, uh, most like sometimes it doesn't even let you do it at all. You have to verify the second one. Uh, you have to go to tier two. So you have to verify your phone number, upload the following documents. So you already have these two, your proof of residence and your scan of your ID of your ID document, right? Now the next two that we're going to be doing is authorization form and a paying, and if you're and this if you're paying by card, right? You, it's like taking a picture of your debit or credit card. So. This one is going to be a little bit different because this form right here is a little bit complicated for people to kind of go ahead and complete. Um, but it's fairly simple. All you got to do is go ahead and fill out this information, right? Fill out your first, uh, your last name, first name, nationality, email address. Here you're going to put in each individual box, right, your card. However, the struggle that we all come down to is how to be able to properly sign this, you know, legally, knowing that we signed it. It wasn't just like, you know, like whatever being done over a computer or a copy document. So um, that's where we're going to need the help of a website called DocuSign.com. All right. And then once you get into DocuSign.com, this is what the website is going to look like. You're going ahead and want to create a free trial. And within this free trial, just fill out this information, fill out the industry that you think you may be in or may want to go into. Uh, they'll give you a 30 day free trial. Once you're logged in, um, you're actually going to be able to go ahead and submit those documents um, for you to be able to understand a little bit more or kind of navigate through um, how to be able to sign your document, you know. So first thing we're going to go ahead and do is upload the document. But as you can see, I have my document signed right here. So DocuSign by and then my signature. If you need to change that, just go ahead and change the signature up here. Click start now. And you're going to want to upload that same document. So boom, pick the document. Right. Have you have it downloaded? Once it's uploaded, you're just going to go ahead and literally fill in all the stuff. So fill in the stuff with your first name, last name, email, um, nationality, all that good information. And then you should have all of these details, right? Address, everything already set and dated and signed, right? So the last thing to really put your signature is going to be a tab specifically that says signature. You're going to want to drag and drop that onto this section. When you're done with that, save that document, send it to yourself, or just download it directly from the website. And then that's going to be how you finish that one. The second one you're going to do is the paying by card. So what you're going to want to do is take a picture of the front side of your card. You know, you could be using your iPhone, very simple. Uh, but you're going to want to go ahead and cover everything except the last four digits of the card. Leave the um, the name available. You want to leave the, uh, the expiration date available, right? However, cover everything except those last four digits. Take a picture of that, covering it with your finger, a piece of paper, however you like, and go ahead and submit those. Once you have those submitted, I'm going to show you exactly where to go ahead and submit that. You want to go to click on my account, right, once you're signed in upgrade limits and then from here it'll allow you to go ahead and upgrade a little bit more you'll be able to upload all those documents here if you have any questions or sometimes it's giving you issues you can click on this live chat now i'll go ahead and fill out your information it'll go ahead and give you some uh some assistance in regards to you know if something's taking a little bit too long you can always reach out to the person who introduced you to this video they'll give you some more info if you need some help um but essentially that's how you go ahead and do that video process now once you have everything verified the buying process is very simple you just go over here Right, you click on how much you want to purchase. So let's say we want to purchase two hundred and fifty dollars. Click confirm. We go to pay. Right, and then we click go to pay. This is from another transaction I had, so three fifty total. And then you want to go ahead and pick how you want to pay. So we're going to be doing it with a credit card. 
And literally all you got to do is press next and just submit your information. And once this is done, it'll redirect you and you should have that voucher be emailed to you within the, like about five to 10 minutes. Um, it could, sometimes takes a little bit longer, sometimes takes a little bit less, um, but it should be very, very quickly. And then as soon as you have that voucher, you want to go ahead and come back over here onto your account, click deposit, credit debit cards. Once you have this verified, you'll be able to see some more information on the screen and it'll detail for you. It says, um, voucher code you want to copy and paste that code click enter on the bottom right the red button and then it'll go ahead and submit that information and you'll have the the money deposited into your live account so it's a very simple process it is a little bit time consuming if you have some questions on how this works go ahead and look back onto this video and it should help you out um, with that entire process so thank you guys for tuning in and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, be finishing up a couple other videos for you guys just guiding you through you know how to actually log into your MetaTrader 4 account and that video should be coming up next thank you guys